Hey everyone, welcome to Inside Indiana Overtime. I'm Alex McCarthy, obviously not in Piscataway, where Indiana picked its first picked up its first Big Ten win of the season, a 79-72 road win at Rutgers. And um, I mean, first of all, obviously it's impressive to to win on the road in the Big Ten, um, especially maybe early in the season when you've had, like Tom Crean said, like a nine-day layoff. But Indiana didn't look very good, very convincing, very good in its in its conference opener. Um, committed 23 turnovers, which is a season high. The bench almost outscored the starting five. The, the the starters scored 42 points, and the bench players scored 37. Led by Max Bielfeld, who had pretty I mean, pretty easily his best game of the season. 18 points, 14 rebounds. He had to do quite a bit today because Thomas Bryant only played six minutes due to foul trouble. He fouled out midway through the second half with just three points and a rebound. Really not what Indiana wants out of Thomas Bryant. I mean, he's still, at this point in the season, still really struggling. He still hasn't had a game where um, he's collected double-digit rebounds. He just hasn't really been able to assert himself, get himself into the flow of the offense, everything like that. So, I mean, f for an Indiana team that played a pretty soft non-conference schedule, you'd think that that would really cater to a freshman who's looking to slowly get acclimated to the game, and you still see a lot of the same struggles with Bryant. I mean, today was was a little bit of an outlier because he hasn't really struggled with turnovers, or excuse me, with fouls quite that much. But yeah, five fouls in six minutes, it's um, that's that's definitely a problem, definitely something to watch for Indiana. But great night from Bielfeld, great night from a lot of the guys who, they're great afternoon, it's a 1 p.m. tip. Um, but really good performances from a lot of the kind of unheralded players on the team. Bill Felt, obviously, OG Ananobi had eight points and seven rebounds. Ryan Burton hit two threes and was pretty important in an 11-0 run that Indiana had early in the second half that built a lead a little bit. Indiana fell behind to Rutgers 44-43. for It only lasted 18 seconds. It was Rutgers' only lead of the game. And from from that point on, Indiana went on an 11-0 run to take a lead, and then you know never surrendered it. Never surrendered it. Obviously, um, still, I mean, it, the 23 turnovers are, you know, Tom Crean called them after the game. He said they were atrocious and costly. And I mean, <laughs> pretty much all turnovers are costly, and a lot of Indiana's turnovers were, were just that. They were atrocious. They were unforced. They were. Rutgers hadn't been doing a very good job of forcing turnovers coming into the game and quite frankly didn't do a great job of forcing turnovers in this game because Indiana handed the ball over uh, a lot of times. And Indiana didn't close out the first half very well. They were up nine with two minutes, 11 seconds left in the in the first half and went into halftime tied because they turned the ball over five times uh, in that 2-11 span. And Rutgers took advantage. They went on a 9-0 run. Almost half, or more, I think more than half of Rutgers' points, yeah, 37 of their 72 points came off turnovers. So more than half of, of Rutgers' points were were gifts, more or less. Indiana's getting into the holiday season, giving away points to, to Rutgers on the road, but still survives with, with a win uh, on the road. Obviously, that's that's something to not necessarily hang your hat on if you're Indiana, but it's a win to win. Uh, at a certain point, but but for a team that a lot of people predicted to be in the top three or four in the Big Ten, well, a lot of people predicted them to be in the top two in the Big Ten. This is not r what you want if you're Indiana on December 30th. You want to be a little bit better than this. You want to beat Rutgers convincingly. I mean, or even even not necessarily convincingly on the scoreboard. You at least want to pass the eye test a little bit better than this. A seven-point win is, you know, whatever. That's fine, but to turn the ball over 23 times, to to have a couple of your starters really not show up. Robert Johnson was 0 for 6 from the floor, didn't score a point. Nick Zeisloff, was, was, his shot was off tonight. He was only one, he was 1 for 6, um, all, all of them threes. Um, and then James Blackman obviously missed today's game with a knee injury. We're not sure how serious that is. I, I, don't, I don't know if Indiana knows how serious it is, so we'll certainly continue to monitor that. But... Um, Long story short, not not an impressive. I mean, not this just wasn't a performance to really change anybody's mind about Indiana. I think I think a lot of people look at this game and say, like, yeah, all right, that's basically what we've seen from Indiana through the first fourteen games this season. Is not a very disciplined team in terms of, of handling the ball. Not a very disciplined or engaged team on defense, and 
they were able to get out of Piscataway with a win because because Rutgers didn't play very well. So Indiana's back in action in just a couple days on Saturday at Nebraska. So they're going to be looking to pick up back-to-back -back Big Ten road wins to start the season to start conference play. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, again, we won't be traveling with the team, but we'll be watching, we'll be writing, we'll be doing videos like this. So um, thanks for watching, thanks for reading, and hopefully you have a great New Year's Eve and uh, and New Year's Day. A ton of good football, a lot of Big Ten teams represented, so should be fun to watch. So thanks for watching. I'm Alex McCarthy, and talk to you soon.